Hello, my name is Drew, and I'm going to talk to you about my homemade backdrop, a do-it-yourself backdrop. Uh, I found a need for one when I get asked to take a ton of pictures of friends and family. Um, they see a big camera, big lens, think, hey, I want a picture. And houses in general are pretty bad um, backdrops for pictures. Um, if you're fortunate enough to be able to be outside all the time, got the lighting location set up, you can make a good deal with the outside locations. I however, live in the Pacific Northwest and it rains a lot here. Um, so taking photos outside is not always an option. So here's the backdrop. It's uh, real cheap. I think total cost so far is about $65. Um, I'm going to need to increase that cost a little bit to rectify some of the problems I'm going to speak about in just a minute. Number one problem so far, well, let's back up a second. Let's talk about what we actually have here. So we've got a piece of 55 inch wide marine vinyl. The marine vinyl was purchased at Joanne Fabrics. Um, you, I've also been told you can purchase these at uh, like a Michael's Crafts or anywhere you might find a fabric one uses to make, you know, or clothing or whatever, costume, something like that. A craft store typically has things like marine vinyl. Um, the piece I bought was uh, eight feet long. It's 54 inches wide. It was $15.99 a yard at uh, Joanne's, and that seems to be a, a typical price looking online. You can purchase online if you can't find it locally. It is kind of heavy, and the package is going to be large. Shipping might be cost prohibitive. Uh, the other piece to this is PVC pipe. Um, I purchased three and a quarter inch PVC pipe from Lowe's. Um, I got 10 foot sections for 99 cents a piece, which is, to me, pretty dirt cheap. Um, obviously, I'm sure you could substitute PVC pipe, but it's an easy material to work with. Keep in mind, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, so, and so, I was like, hmm, PVC pipe seemed like the uh, ultimate do-it-yourself material. Um, with the PVC pipe, I had to buy some uh, uh, tees and some uh, rounded uh, corner pieces to fit it all together and make it kind of into a stand. The stand itself is about 65 inches wide, and it's 6 feet about one inch tall. I'm five foot four and you can tell it's much taller than I am. Um, actually I should say it's not six feet, it's six feet six inches tall. Um, you know I do recognize the fact that that might be a problem if I were to need to shoot somebody in a uh, standing up for some reason that was uh, pretty tall. Um, not too worried about that. Um, in that case I'd bring in something like a stool. I'm not a professional, don't really know what I'm doing, but stool sounds like a good option and compromise to work with my backdrop. Um, it's a white, it's not necessarily a pure white, the back, uh, the marine vial does have a texture to it. The texture is really not going to be that noticeable at a, uh, when you, you bring in a camera like a, any kind of DSLR that you can, with a variable aperture on something like a F4 wider, um, which is pretty much going to be shooting portraits with that. Anyway, you're going to bring your subject close to the lens and far away from the backdrop, pretty standard portraiture, uh, technique. And the, the very non-existent uh, texture isn't even noticed. The problem with my backdrop is a couple fold so far. Um, one, I have not attached the marine vinyl to the cardboard cylinder I got from Joanne's Fabric from the lady out there. Um, you know, something like that probably would have ran me some money, but she gave it to me for free, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, so if I was to pull on this, the whole sheet would come down and would not wouldn't do me any good. Um, it's kind of a pain to wind back on there. I think I've got an idea of how to take care of that. I'll share it with you in a moment. Another problem is it's really not stable. As you can see, you know, slight movement moves the backdrop and the, the whole stand quite a bit. And you can see it's kind of leaning and uh, getting it dialed in is not necessarily the easiest thing. My idea with this also is making it portable because I can, all these pieces would fit in my car. It's, you know, four door standard sedan. Um, they would fit in the car if I arranged it properly. I could take it somewhere if I needed to, you know, for whatever reason. Um, so I'm not playing on gluing or putting a lot of material to it, make it super heavy. So portability is a must. So, but the the, uh, the flexibility here is kind of a downside. I'm thinking about cutting these pieces in half, putting a T in and another whole bar. I'm not sure how that's going to work, if it's going to help or not. Uh, probably going to get some advice from some friends. But really, this whole thing, I'm thinking is going to work out really well. Um, the material is a, kind of a 
it's a plastic, it's a vinyl, so it, you can clean it. I've got some fingerprints for my dirty hands. I'm going to work in a dirty garage. And uh, anyway, I'll be able to clean that up, no problem. It's eight, in the eight feet wide, so if I do need to, whatever reason, I can. I've got some material to work with. I think it's a it's a good idea. Got to say thank you to Andrew for the tip on the marine vinyl. I'm really happy with how it's come out so far. I look forward to finishing it and uh, showing you how how it looks when it's done. Thanks.